Good morning and happy Wednesday from Nassau. It says don't climb on the handrails. Oh man, I've been wiping the lens off three times now. It's just very humid out here. So today is our day at Nassau. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to Oceaneer Club because it is an open house and Jackson is ready to ride the slide and have some fun in there. Going down to level two, buddy. Two. Oh, seven. What? We're on seven, seven right now. I'm also excited because we're going to have breakfast at... We're not you confused. Are confused we're not me. Have... Also, we're going to breakfast at uh, 1923 this morning. All right, Jackson. Now's your time to shine. I was a little confused <laughs> because I told you to push two, and we went to two. We need to be on three because you want to go down the slide, right? This list, so the kids club is on level two, but the slide is on level three. All right, Jackson. Where's the slide at? Um, it's right here. <laughs> okay. Well, this is like the perfect time to take pictures in the atrium. Oh yeah, it is. Look at this. Nobody here. All right, bud. Oh, uh -oh. you pushing me? Oh, oh, oh. oh no, is he coming down? Wait. wait, wait. I'm still in here. Okay. All right, come on down, bud. Whoa, a little sideways there. There it is. We've made it through slide number 15, I think. You going again? Yes. Okay, go ahead. All right, so we are now in Oceaneer Club. We slid down. There's bathrooms here. This is the bathrooms, buddy. You want to go to the bathroom? Okay, let's put our shoes back on. Kind of interesting because the bathrooms, they have lights over top of them, so I think you know when somebody's in them. But also, they have different characters. So this one's Nemo. Oh, it's a little tiny toilet. Look at that. Oh, look at this little teeny tiny toilet. Whoa. There it goes. Flushing down, bud. Mm -hmm. Alright, come on out of there. So also they have regular sinks over here and then they have these automatic hand washers that you just stick your hands in and it washes your hand for you. So I've showed this before, but that's all you do is you just stick it in there and it sprays soap and water on your hands and washes them for you. And then I feel like they should have dryers inside of them too, but I understand that maybe they can't. And then you just use a paper towel to dry your hands. But yeah, and each of these bathrooms are little kid-sized toilets. So here's somewhere that I haven't been yet. It's Star Wars Cargo Bay. Hello. Hi. Ooh. Yeah, it feels like we're in, you know, a hunk of junk in a galaxy far, far away. All kinds of lights and things like that. Creatures. Ooh, look at him. Okay. Jackson's flipping switches. So I asked one of the, the universe to see if they had a band to tap for this. Yeah. Because I think this is like a Tamagotchi, but like Star Wars. Oh. But I don't know. So she's checking to see if they have like a test band to, okay. to, to tap it. Yeah, we asked this the last time we were here, and they just had like one of the kids that was in the kids club tap their band yeah. for us. But there's nobody, there's really nobody else in here. I know, I, I don't know. There's nobody in the kids club today, I guess. And there are like iPads over here too as part of it. I don't know what the iPads are for. But right now, Jackson's just having fun pushing buttons. What's this? Oh, a loft cat. Look, he, Jackson, come look. This loft cat has a little porgy like you do. Look at that! Don't stick your hand in there. Look at his little porgy. <laughs> oh, those are like oh. Oh, did you see his tail move? Wow. <laughs> What's in there, buddy? It's like a snail. Oh, well, look at his eyeballs. He's looking at you. Whoa. Jackson, did you see there are por porgies over here? I almost like got a little distracted because I thought this would be like this, this table in the Millennium Falcon, but it's not. Come look right here, bud. Look at this little porgy. Oh, look, there's a porgy with eggs. Oh, that's really funny. He's remembering back to Galactic Star Cruiser. Oh, okay. He's asking if we need to find all the porgies. I wonder if there's any more in here. There's definitely like nests, I feel like. Well, look at him. He's kind of chilling, flapping his little wingies. 
moving his head up and down. <laughs> we got some droid parts up top here. This is neat because it looks all greasy, but it's not. I like this. Oh my good. There's a 3PO droid. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Okay, now oh, you I need to get a data pad, Jackson. Oh, the gray one. Oh, you want me to help you out? Hit this gray button. This guide will train you to safely handle the various creatures being transported aboard this ship. Ooh, Ooh. like the Porgy. Look, we found him. There he is. Do you see him on the screen? So tap the, tap the little guy. So we found our first creature. It was the little snail guy. His name is uh, a Dokma. Oh, I found the creature track. There it is. Jackson, look. Standing right where Jackson is. You're right by the creature. You're they're sitting on oh, him. We have to feed him. I'm gonna say plants. Oh no, it's Jackson. Oh, he does like plants. He loved it. Maybe we're supposed to look at the. Is there like a sign over there? Yeah, but it's written in Arabic, I think. Oh. So this is the creature that we found, and we fed him plants. This one eats plants. So there you go. That was pretty cool. Gonna come up. Bubbling. Keep cranking, but oh, there he is. Oh, okay, come look at the eyeball. Come look. Whoa. That was pretty fun. Now we're headed down into the Marvel Superhero Academy and have a look around. Maybe we can create our own super suit. I think that's uh, the Incredibles. Are they, are they Marvel Avengers? Hey, look, it's one of those things from dinner. Tap on Spider Man. Ghost. Excellent. Ooh. More suits will be unlocked. Rendering suit. Doing Tap it? here to Whoa, change look. your suit power. Nano suit assembly complete. I'll you bring up the stats suit. on each suit to help you with your selection. That's pretty neat. Wow. All right, come back here and stand on this A back here. Initializing look at that dance. Stand straight. stand straight with your arms out, Jackson. Stand like mommy. All right. Oh, look, you're wearing an Iron Man suit, buddy. Look at you. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at you. Look at that. Image data required. Taking image render. Here. Look, 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 Jackson, quick, look. Oh, there you go, all right. That's exactly what you gotta do. You gotta do a little dancing. Oh, what do you gotta do? Oh, like this, Jackson, Jackson, like this, like you're pushing. Oh, look at him, he's doing it. He just destroyed that Hydra bot. Do it, buddy, keep doing it, keep doing it. There you go, there you go. You're doing great, buddy. Yeah. Look at this, he's saving New York. He's doing really good. Nice work. Look, there he is. Look at that score, you're an Avenger. Nice. Now we're heading into 1923. We're gonna try the Walt Disney side for breakfast. They have an example of the menu out here. That was a very bad example. We'll see it when we sit down at the table for a little bit better example of what dinner, or what breakfast will look like. Let's see what we got, we can get all kinds of stuff from the cold menu here. Yogurt parfaits. Kids of all ages. One time we tried to get Jackson's peanut butter and jelly typhoon. He didn't eat any of it. It wasn't, it wasn't very good. <laughs> some blueberry pan, buttermilk pancakes. Some eggs. I might get that Belgian waffle. Oatmeal, omelets. Oh no, I'm gonna just get an omelet. That makes sense. The fun thing is I could order all of it. I could order a waffle and an omelet. Then we got the sides over here. This is actually just my Belgian waffle plate, and then I also got an omelet. I already took a bite of it. And I added to it, and I got bacon sausage and hash brown. And Jackson has a blueberry pancake, but he's also getting some eggs. Jen got the hash. Oh, so this is the southern hash. It's chorizo, potatoes, peppers, two eggs. And then I got some sausage and some bread. And here's Jackson. It's called the get up and go. Goofy's get up and go. And then Jen got. We're, also I'm splitting this with Jackson because he wanted a waffle and a pancake. Yeah. Okay, do you want some eggies? So we just got done at 1923 for breakfast, and that was probably the worst food that we've had on this ship. I thought it was the best. Really? Yeah, I loved mine. My waffle was like tasted like it was made yesterday. It was a My little... sausage tasted like it was made yesterday. My bacon tasted like it was made yesterday. Really? Yeah, all of it. The That's omelet so... was good. Oh, see, I I got the uh, southern hash. It was delicious. I love that. I think okay. that's one of the best things you can get at that sit-down breakfast. Right. I thought it, you really didn't like it. No. That's so funny how different our experience was. Yeah. I was like, well, we're not going to eat there again for <laughs> breakfast. 
I liked it. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, well, there you go. It was, I will say too, it was nice to have just like a, a more relaxed, slow paced breakfast. Right. Because when you go to the buffet, it's more like chaotic. That's what I want. Get up and go. <laughs> Get you some. Get you some ham and cheese croissants. And also, because it's get up and go, and people are going through it so much, everything is fresh. Waffles are made constantly, bacon's being made constantly, sausage is being made constantly. That's what makes it good. And you can get the omelet there too. So we go back to the room really quick to get our socks because we're going to the Incredit course. So today is a Nassau day, so there's not a lot of people on the ship. And we are headed back this way towards Marceline Market. All right, so we are headed, Jackson, head towards the Blue Arch. This way, buddy, this way. The Blue Arch. Still no real sign here explaining what this Blue Arch is. So if we were to make a left around the corner here, that would head us to Marceline Market. But right now we're just heading up this Blue Arch stairway. And that takes us to Vibe, the Hideaway, Hero Zone, the Rose, Paulo, and Enchante. All right, here we are in the Hero Zone. I'm gonna go behind him. Jackson is 40 inches now, so we're thinking he should be able to go on it, but we're gonna check his height. Said you're not quite tall enough yet because you don't have any shoes on. So they checked his height without any shoes on. He's 40 inches tall with shoes on, but not without shoes. So unfortunately, Jackson was not quite tall enough, but you can see people are running through. We're doing it. So hopefully next time Jackson will be tall enough. But like I said, he's 40 inches tall with his shoes on, but it, they measured his height without his shoes on. So he was not quite tall enough. We also got to play some foosball while we were here. We are doing some shuffleboard now. They've been doing alarm drills recently. So we keep hearing these announcements saying, if you hear an alarm, don't be scared. But now they said they're done. So any alarm we hear after this is real. Okay, buddy? 11 o'clock, perfect time for some ice cream. Also. That'll probably maybe help him grow a little bit taller so the next time he can go on. Interesting developments. They are tinting the windows over here. And one thing that we noticed is both sides have had these giant fans that they have strapped to the rails for this cruise because as we noticed the first time that we were on this ship, it gets hot over here. What do you think? I love it. Yeah? <laughs> What's your favorite part about cruising, Jackson? Um, the ice cream. The ice cream? Now, after we had our little ice cream break, we are going to try to play Uncharted Adventures. Oh, so. He didn't wear his shirt. Oh no, he has an Uncharted Adventures shirt. We should have been wearing that. All right, all I had to do was click on the main page of the Disney Cruise Line app, and a Disney Uncharted Adventure button showed up, and it opened up this, and now we hit play. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to make a Disney me, which is like an avatar. I think I nailed Jackson, Let's right? See. That's what it looks like. Is that you, buddy? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Look at you. Oh, you want to change your shirt? Oh, I love it. Oh, a lightsaber. A lightsaber. Wow. <laughs> what about a backpack? Oh, we haven't gotten any yet. Oh. Okay. So, now we're all done. Let's Save see. it, buddy. Let's all right. See. Now we're going to get started on our Uncharted Adventure. So, we are we haven't even started yet because this game has been explaining itself for about 10 minutes now. So, he's having, Jackson's having a hard time, like, keeping, it's hard, having a hard time keeping his, like, Attention, there's some commotion around the wishing star. I think that's the main point of all this. We have to tilt our spyglass up to the sky and we will see something like we see Peter Pan here and then we click on Peter Pan and we can lead a quest. All right, buddy, we have our first thing that we have to do. We have to go to deck five. We just have to find this particular piece of art. Okay, let's do it. Is it are that one on right five? there? Yeah, we are on five. I think it's that one right okay, there. Let's go find it, buddy. Push the gold button right there. Oh, okay, you ready? Let's see what happens. Look at the TV. Ooh. What is it doing? Whoa. All right, there's Peter Pan. Look. Looking for a star, huh? Yeah. Well, I know the best one in the night sky. The second star to the right. Here we go. Yeah, we're doing Tilt it. Your device left and right. Oh. Move from side to side. Look, here you go. Back and forth. Up and down. All right, let's see what happens when you give a two-year-old a phone and tell him to move Tap it around. Tap your device screen when the gauge is full for a speed boost. Okay. Hey, get some of those stars. There you go. Tilt it side to side. Push the big button in the middle of the phone, buddy. Oh, it's not ready yet. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're getting hit by the lightning. That's not good. Oh, don't hit the lightning. Move from side to side. You're doing pretty good, actually. There you go. Good job. Oh, and the speed boost lets you go over top of the lightning. What says arrow? Oh, it's telling you which way to go so you don't hit the lightning. Oh, gotcha. With a little practice, you'll fly just as good as me. Ha! Isn't that right, Tink? 
Tinkerbell! Huh, I wonder where she went. Come on, let's go look for her. Uh-oh, it looks like Captain Hook may have kidnapped Tinkerbell. Or she flew away to the cruise ship. She's on the cruise ship. We have to find her. Hook's Barbary, we gotta go down one level. We were just there. And we have to find the window down there. Well, now it's getting fun. Before it was just kind of like a lot of waiting. Now it's fun. Uh -oh. All right, there's three lanterns in the window. Oh. Okay. We have to do something with keys. Oh. oh we have to try the keys. Okay. I think, okay. Is there any sort of clue to it up yeah, there? Yeah, they match. Look. Oh, okay. Two. Okay, Jackson, can you find a key that looks like this picture? What do you think? Maybe that red one? Yeah. Yeah. Can you put, drag the red drag one up, it up to, to it. this one. Good job. Whoa. And what about this one? What does it look like? This. Mm. Mm, I don't know. I can help. Oh, what's oh, he going to help? Oh, Mickey's going to help. Oh, Mickey just oh, did look, it for what you. Does it do? Oh, no, they all turned off. Oh, oh there look, she there she is. Jackson, Jackson, look. There's Tinkerbell inside of that one lamp. What's it doing? No, let's see. Well, we got a score of 100. Okay. All right, we did it. Oh, I think there's like a wedding happening down here or something. All right, so that was just a little preview of the Uncharted Adventures game. I kind of want to play it a little bit more. It was getting fun, so we will definitely be doing it again. All kinds of people are doing it around the ship. We just passed by somebody else who's doing it. This way, Jackson. Jackson. This way, this way. This way. But now, we're headed into Marceline Market for some lunch. All right, let's see what there is to eat at the chef's counter. Grilled strip loin steak, oregano marinated grilled lamb loin chop, with some rice and some, kind of looks like succotash a little bit. The zatar roasted chicken, honey roasted baby carrots, some feta baked cheese stuffed zucchini. We've got some grilled turkey. We've got some sweet potato with roasted butternut squash. A charcuterie board. Assorted breads. This one looks kind of good. It looks like it's ham and cheese or something on there. So we've made it over to Signature Choices. We got some chicken tikka masala wok, some chicken red Thai curry wok, and then we've got some kimchi and sauces, some sa uh, salmon teriyaki with toasted sesame, cucumber salad, some ball and stuff, some carrot kinpira. Some Sumatran lamb curry back there. We've got a parathra. And we've got some sesame toasted salmon teriyaki. Papadam. Some jasmine rice. Some fried pork pot stickers. And some fried plantains. Over at the kids' counter, we've got some chicken tenders, some french fries, some peas and carrots. Some macaroni and cheese. Oh, it looks pretty good. And some, and some ketchup. They have ketchup glazed meatloaf. I actually kind of might get that. Some gravy for it too. We got a fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Some carrots and celery. Some fresh fruit. Cream of butternut squash soup. A cream of tomato soup. A brioche roll and some butter. A split yellow pea soup, contains pork, barbecue sauce, honey mustard, some salads over here, a chef salad, and a quinoa with tomato sofrito blend salad, a grilled chicken salad, and then a house salad. And that was the market deli. And then the pantry favorites over here, all the desserts. Okay, we've got some NSA chocolate marquise. NSA is no sugar added. Oh my goodness, a peanut butter cheesecake sounds delicious. A strawberry fruit tartlet. And then we've got a gluten free raspberry pot de creme. And then we've got some assorted jelly cubes. A red velvet cupcake. A carrot cake. Fresh fruit salad. This is that no sugar added chocolate mousse here. What else? Everything else is the same. Yeah, this is all the same stuff. We've got these chocolate chip cookies, which I know that I've always said, like, you just can't get a chocolate chip cookie. So Marceline Market is only offering chocolate chip cookies during the lunch hours, during their open lunch hours. So I think it's from noon until 2. Oh, they have just ice cream. You can get chocolate ice cream. You can get, I don't even know if I can focus in there. It's like kind of behind a blur. Chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and strawberry ice cream. They got some chocolate fudge pudding over here. In the very back of the ship at Fresh Fair, we've got some buttered green asparagus back there. Rosemary and thyme polenta cakes. Fresh chips. 
I like that they call them chips. We've got some deep fried calamari with tartar sauce. And then the back, we've got seared tuna steak with sun-dried tomato tepanade. And then of course, we've got Jonas crab claws. I don't know who's, who Jonas is. We've got some chilled shrimps. We got some lemon wedges. We got some marinated green lip mussels and Marie Rose sauce. I got some of this bread over here. Found out that it is ham and pineapple bread. Oh, is it? Yeah, it weird, like right? Very fluffy. Then I got some plantain chips. Jen went a little bit more. With Jen Jackson had some cheese. Oh, yeah. Don't, Don't put your put finger the in there. This is my favorite thing so far. Is this? Um, they're carrots. They had a special name, but it's carrots in soy with mirin and sesame seeds. They're it's like really a soap good. opera happening next to you <laughs> with him and his finger. Stop, buddy. All right. So Jen and Jackson are taking a nap. So I decided to come back out and do some more of the uncharted adventures. This is where I had to come. I had to come to the Figaro mural. All right, I have to scan the artwork. Let's see, what do I find? Oh, what was this? All right, well, there's Peter Pan's shadow right there. I found it. So try flashing it with something bright. Try to grab it when it's distracted. Tap Peter Pan's shadow on your device to flash a light at it. Oh, this is getting hard. Oh, he keeps flying away from me. Oh my. Ugh. Did I get it? Yeah, it worked better for me to like back away and get the shadow that way. I think the most interesting part about this game is that, I don't know if it's just because I'm doing the Peter Pan like challenge, everything's been on three, four, and five. Nothing's been anywhere else. My next stop was over here at the Keg and Compass. I've arrived. Here we go, I have to come real close. I think it's in like an R RFID or something like that. Oh, there's Hook. Peter Pan and his motley crew are here to lay claim to our new treasure. And with Slingshots. Tilt your device left okay, and right so I have to, to do like from this. side to side. And then forward and backwards. Tap your device screen to fire. Oh, okay. Pew, 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 pew. I have like unlo- Oh no, get out of here, man. Okay. Oh, this is harder than it looks. Let's see if I can do it from, from far away. I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. Oh, I have to try to get Hook and Smee. I'm getting close. Oh no! Oh no! Did I do it? Oh, I did it! How could those scurvy brats defeat me? What did we get? We got a piece of this wishing star! Wow! We did it! I think that means that we, we accomplished the Peter Pan thing. Just taking a pause in my movement through this game for this Encanto like artwork here in the Family Madrigal. Right? I'm recognizing all of these characters, right? Who is this? I think I would have to take the tour to figure that out. It might be the artist who actually did this. It is pirate night, so all the characters are showing up in their pirate costumes. Hook and Smee just showed up for some photo ops. Hey Donald, how's it going? You having a good day? I'm doing great. I've been playing this game around the ship. Uncharted Adventures, have you heard of it? I have to use the stars to guide my way. And it does get confusing with so many stars on the ceiling. Like how many, what stars am I supposed to look at to try to figure it out? I don't even know, but it's still fun. Are you having fun today? You finding any treasure? Not yet, not, you, you did? A little bit, a little bit. You're not gonna tell me because it's your treasure. We gotta keep it a secret. Right, a secret treasure. Secret treasure. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Just, and then you can bury it tomorrow on Castaway Key to keep it safe. That's right. We're gonna keep that hush hush. We're not gonna tell anyone. Right? Maybe Nobody will know. Maybe Captain Daisy. Hook. Don't tell Captain Hook. Hook is a codfish. We stay away from him. <laughs> Can we take a photo together? So I think I'm gonna call it quits on the Uncharted Adventures for right now because my phone is down at 20%. So uh, I might hold off on it and then finish the next time that we're on board the Wish, which is something that's really fun. I'm about halfway through the game. So the next time that I come on, it will hold my place and I'll be able to finish the game the next time we're on board. Mickey's calling it a day. He's gotta go get ready for his pirate party tonight. All right, so everybody's awake now and we're headed down to, uh, what is it? Mickey and Minnie captain's deck. It's the toddler area that's in the kids club. It's, they're doing an open house right now. Yeah. Is the open? All the what? No, just the toddler area. Because it's, it's not the open house for that right now. It's hard to explain to him that he can't go into these places and that only during open house. It's hard for him to differentiate like open house and being able to go into them all the time. Right. So that's been kind of hard. So here we are in Mickey and Minnie captain's deck. I like that he always, every time we come in here, he goes for this thing. 
and it's like very difficult to do. It doesn't move very easily, bud. Yes. I don't think yes. It moves at all. It does, but it's. Oh, it needs a little WD-40 in there. It's true. I think that one of the most confusing things in this room are these things right here, because every once in a while they just make noise, and like it sounds like Mickey's in there or Minnie's in there, and like Jackson runs over and is like, "Hello," and he yells into it, but like. It doesn't react that way. Then I don't know how to like set it off. It's just random, but there is like a hole here to almost like to do something, but there's no button or anything there. We are headed out to the bow of the ship, having a look at Nassau. We didn't get off the ship on Nassau today. Our friend who lives on this island couldn't get off today to come and visit us. So, oh, yeah, so we just we, said- We did eh. some exploring around the boat, around the ship, and we did some, met some characters and- Played the game. Yeah, so our next cruise, we'll definitely be getting off at Nassau to hang out with him now. Yeah, oh, the breeze. All right, just to let you guys know, deck five, outside, uh, what are we, uh, port side. Mm -hmm. Look at this. If it wasn't like a jackhammer happening, this would be very relaxing right here. What is, this is the oasis of the, or no, this is Anthem. What is this giraffe and why is it there? Everybody's leaving. Bye, everybody. That's a lot of rooms, isn't it? That's like that entire ship is just rooms. Even our crew is up there waving at everybody. Oh, this is the anthem of the seas, and this is the independence of the seas. Somebody who's on the anthem of the seas just waved at us and said, bye trackers. <laughs> but also like, look at how much the this independence of the seas, like the smoke that's coming out of this thing. We were just up here on the bow and we were wondering how anybody in a wheelchair would get up here and they, they have a lift on these stairs right here. So you, if you are in a wheelchair, you could come up and experience the bow. I just wonder if you need somebody to operate this for you or if you could, in a wheelchair, operate this thing. I would, I doubt it. I feel like you probably need somebody from the ship to like bring you up there. Also wanted to point out, we are on deck five right now, just outside of the, the gym, because I can see people using the treadmill next to me, but there is a water bottle filler out here. A water bottle filler out here. All right, pirate night. Hanging out with a bunch of pirates. Look at this, he's got a lollipop. Pirate lollipop time. Let me see your outfit. You look like a cool pirate buddy. There it is. Oh, this one. We're doing it. Pirates, ahoy, into Arendelle. We're gonna be Arendelle pirates. Push five. We're gonna be pirates in the Caribbean. We're gonna be pirates in Norway. Doors <laughs> closing. Woohoo, big summer blowout. All right, buddy? I don't know what I'm gonna get tonight. I know for sure I'm just gonna get the baby gem. Everything else seems kind of like not my thing. Oh, I remember that. But, I know that last time I got the lamb shank and I really liked it, so I'm kind of leaning towards getting that again. But the strip loin does sound good too. But that lamb shank though. So I think I'm gonna get that. Yeah, I'm gonna get the lamb shank. Ooh, braised barbecue beef rib salad. That sounds wild. Jackson, I forgot to tell everybody, we got Johnny cakes or cornbread. And this is a mango dip, like a mango salsa. I think this is my least favorite bread dip. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like the um, the uh, the red pepper one. Okay. And then the onion one. Onion one, and then this one. I think it's my least favorite. Okay. Oh, you know what? We're ending the cruise on 1923. I know. I don't know if I like that. I do. Do you? Why? Because that fillet that we had. Oh yeah, good. the fillet. Ooh. <laughs> That'll be nice. I'm excited for that tomorrow. This is what we got for the salad, or like the appetizer course. I got the baby gem, blue cheese from Thousand Island, some uh, walnuts and some radish, and a little bit of onions in there. And then Jen got, so this is Angelica's lime marinade shrimp with chili, white corn, sweet potato, and onion. This plate's kind of a mess right now, but he got the grilled chicken skewer. This is what Jackson got. It was just grilled chicken with sweet potatoes. I'm gonna see one of the grilled chickens there and one of the sweet potatoes, and then some fresh fruit, and some broccoli. Look at the size of this lamb shank that they brought me. Holy oh, no, Jackson, mecca. You're gonna get a tummy ache. I'm gonna get a tummy ache from eating too much lamb? And maybe I will, maybe. What'd you get? I got the treasure of the seas. I get this every time. Oh, you got some lobster in there? I think it's just shrimp. It's a big shrimp. And scallop, and then they come and they take the shrimp out of the shell. That's one oh, of the things okay. they do. Jackson's still eating his chicken. It's in a, um, a provincial sauce, which I don't really know what that means. Provincial? What it says. Oh, for dessert, we all got the warm chocolate brownie. 
it has a cookie center. A cookie center, brookie? Yeah. So we honestly, we've had all the desserts on this menu from uh, like the adult desserts, and they're okay. But this one just sounded really good. Yeah. Sometimes you oh no, but are you chocolate. losing your oh, chocolate? You got it. Okay. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Look at you. So our server Rahul, he came over and he made this. He said, "This is a horse." And the horse is walking, he said, this way. You can see there's a two legs, a neck, and a head. And he said, we have one move to change it so that it's walking the other direction. We have to try to figure it out. We need the square. We need a square? Yeah. Need a square? Oh, like huh? a square? Yeah. A square? Like a square. Okay, now let's see. he's walking towards me, right? One right. move, only one. Okay? I move this leg, I'm gonna put this way. Oh! Now it's walking that way. Oh, I see. see? Gotcha. I like yeah. it, I like it. Oh, I never would have got that, buddy. After dinner, we made our way into Mickey's main sale. And we're just looking around and see if there's anything new. I'm actually looking for a Wish Magic Band Plus. This is nice. Is it a corksicle? We saw this last time. I know, but did we find out if it was a corksicle or not? It doesn't look like it. Not for twenty-four dollars. This is stuff that I feel like I maybe haven't seen before. But this is just Disney Cruise in general stuff. It says life is better at sea collection than these ears that match. This is kind of fun. No, I mean it might be, but it's just generalized Disney Cruise stuff. It's for you to put your pins on display. Oh, cool! Right? Wow. Thirty-four ninety-nine. It comes with four pins. Oh, you get pins. Oh, cool. Okay. Very oh, similar that? to this one, I'm imagining. Right, yeah. So far, what we're seeing is just generalized Disney Cruise Line merch that's made. Oh, All right, we'll get you to bed, buddy. I think we've had too much candy today. I think this pajama set is new. I don't remember seeing this last time. It's got like little frilly arms, little frilly legs, and it has like the rope design, but they're Mickey's. And this is $50 for the set. And then this I think is new too. It's like a trinket tray with the Disney Cruise Line emblem. This one is $18. I don't know what this is. Maybe like a, a napkin holder? That one is $20. I like this. I know this isn't for sale, but I really like this. Oh, and they have some like blown glass Christmas ornaments. These are $30. So I'm guessing the new set of merchandise is all kind of like this teal color. It's really pretty, like seafoam green. And they sell our luggage. I don't remember if we saw our luggage last time. This is what we brought on the ship. Oh, is this new? I don't remember seeing this last time either. A wish frame. We should get this. So this one is $30. Got Captain Mickey and Captain Minnie. I like it when they do her captain's outfit with the pants. But that's pretty fun. Oh no, this one's already chipped though. Like the paint's already chipping off, so it might not be the best quality. Hmm, everybody is always asking about my Loungefly backpack. This is the one. This is my exact backpack that I wear all the time with the rainbow straps. You can get it here on the Wish. I love this thing. I didn't bring it this time. I should have brought it, but there you go. And they have the whole line with like kind of retro looking collection. But I love this. Get this treasure! We just made it back to the room and Jackson found some treasure. Look at this! It's a, yeah. pirate, treasure. It's a pirate treasure! Good thing you're a pirate, look at this face. Are you so excited to find some pirate treasure? It's an octopus? We it's say like this every Cthulhu. time. We're never sure what it is. It's a... Uh, what's his face? A guy with cool hair. It's the guy. What guy? The yeah. best, oh, best from, be starting yeah, from the to be in yeah. dead. Oh, yeah. Whatever her name is. Whoa, yeah, I think so. We don't, we're not going to eat this right now, buddy. All right, so after dinner and a little tiny bit of shopping, we didn't actually buy anything yet. I think we're gonna, we were just doing some bruising after dinner. Now everybody's back in the room. Jackson's trying to fall asleep. He's had a little bit too much sugar today, so he's like, kind of like having a hard time doing that. But because we were putting Jackson to sleep, uh, we missed the Mickey's Pirates in the Caribbean show. But we've already seen this before, and if you'd like to see that full show, we'll put a link to that description down below. But basically, uh, Mickey and all of his pals come out and teach you how to become a pirate. Things like, if you ever, if ever a captain asks you a question or give you an order, you have to say, "Hi, hi, captain." Uh, what's a pirate's favorite thing and that's a booty so you have to learn how to shake 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 your booty and uh, after you learn all of these different pirating moves then hook and sneak show up and overtake the ship and they challenge you to prove that you are a real pirate by performing these moves 
that you learned from Mickey beforehand. So the end of it turns out that you do a good job because you danced all the moves and you are a real pirate and Hook and Smee are disgraced and they're sent off the ship. So that's what happens in that show. Right now we're headed up to deck 12, I think, to try to get a good spot for the show and the fireworks. So we should be here plenty early enough to get a good spot for the next show, which is the Pirates Rockin' Parlay Party. And we will be getting a spot for that over here. The fireworks are gonna be going off this side of the ship. I've been kind of thinking about going on this side over here, the port side, and seeing what they look like with the slide in the way and everything, just to get a good idea of what the different views are around the ship. So I'm up on deck 12 and seeing what the view is gonna be like for this show this is the Pirates Rockin' Parlay Party. And this is super fun because it is a live band that will be performing with the actors on stage. And then the live band continues to perform as the fireworks happen off the starboard side of the ship. Last time we watched them, we watched them from the starboard side. And I wanted to come over here and have a look at them to see what they look like behind this giant slide. There are two different launch locations on this ship for the fireworks. So a total of six, three on the front funnel and three on the back funnel. So six different launches. So we should have a pretty good view of the fireworks as they happen even with the slide in the way. Okay, the show, still fantastic. It was a different cast and band from the first time that we saw it. Fireworks were phenomenal with a live band. I recommend that if you get the chance to come on the Wish just to see the fireworks with the live band because it's the first time I've ever seen a live band coordinate with the fireworks and it was amazing to me. I would like to see that more and more around all the parks and anywhere that I go. Uh, it was kind of strange because for whatever reason, this band doesn't have a guitarist, but they still announce the guitarist at the beginning of the song. They're like, so-and-so on the keyboard, so-and-so on the guitar, so-and-so on the bass, so-and-so on the drums, but there wasn't a guitarist in there. So I don't know why they announced the guitarist. They should, I guess maybe it's just like part of the script and the timing of the show, but I thought that was a little bit strange. But other than that, it was really good. Like I really enjoyed it. Today was a fantastic day. Had a great time. Playing Uncharted Adventure was super fun. Uh, going into the kids club was fun. The food was all really good. My waffles this morning, not so good. Lunch and dinner were phenomenal, really good. Uh, I got some cookies today, which I am happy about, but still, I like right now, I would like some cookies. I could order them from room service, 
but there's nowhere else that I can get them from. And the only other food option that's open right now is uh, pizza. So pizza doesn't close until midnight, everything else closes at, I think I might be able to get ice cream until 11.30, I gotta look in the Navigator app. But, I don't know, we'll find out. But for the most part, I'm going to bed. And tomorrow, we're at Castaway Key. Going onto the island, hanging out on Castaway Key. Gonna see some characters, gonna do some snorkeling, gonna have a good time. So all in all, a fantastic day. With that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Well, I family from Australia and now it's time to pay the price.